Well, and Oprah saved me, though. She anointed you almost. She Oprah saved me because during that time, I was blowing it, bro. I didn't think yeah. we was going to win the Oscar. I'm like, I didn't really know that much about Oscars. I was like, yo, we just... Yo, we just partying. I'm like, we get this Oscar buzz right now. I was just going to the parties, <laughs> drinking, get yeah. going to the club. You make it, they put it on the Oscars, man. I'm like, <laughs> I'm, I'm like way out of control. Be, I'm getting everybody number. This yeah. is like before the Oscars. It's like, I remember going to the Golden Globes. I'm drinking and shit. Get out the, get out the car with my date, and I'm like, yo, we got nominated for three different things. We going three down, <laughs> and so I didn't realize that there was a certain way that you had to approach this, mm -hmm. and so. I get a call from Oprah. Hi, Jamie Foxx. I love it. I said, who is this? <laughs> it's Oprah. I love it. I said, who? Oprah. <laughs> I said, who is this? It's Oprah, Jamie Foxx. <laughs> and she literally said, listen, I want to talk to you because I mm -hmm. think you could win this thing, but you're not going to win it the way you're acting. Wow. Because I was out there. Well, I'm in Miami. I'm fighting in the club. She said, I'm, an Oscar. I'm about to win an Oscar, bitch. I'm that. <laughs> so she says, I want to take you somewhere so you can understand the significance of what your Oscar will do for us yeah. and everybody in the world. I said, oh, I'm, I'm with you. So she takes me to Quincy Jones's house. <laughs> and Quincy comes out, hey, man, shit, man, you did a great job on that. <laughs> great Charles, man, wonderful, man. I remember Michael and I, when we did Thriller, man, it was such a great time. You know, 54 million records sold, man, but there was a certain way we had to carry ourselves, man. You know, because Ray Charles, you did a great job. Let's not blow it. And so I go into the, to his house, and it's all of the black actors from the 60s and the 70s that I grew up watching. Yeah. Some of the people you may not know, but you remember playing them, they played bit parts here and there, mm -hmm. and they were standing there like, like, please do this the right way, because Ray Charles is a decent character to give the Oscars to, because usually the Oscar, it could be, you could question like, ah, why are they, so it's decent. Not, not hating on anybody else, but you know, this was one. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow, and I'm meeting all of these people that I grew up admiring. And then Oprah goes, okay, you wanna see who you came here to meet? I said, who? He's right there. And it was Sidney Poitier. Wow. In a tuxedo. And he's waiting. He said, go up there and talk to him and see what you need to do. And when I walked up to Mr. Poitier, he says, he says I saw you one time. <laughs> you were at a party. Do you remember that? I was like, I, I do. And I'm shaking. He says, I want to give you one thing. I want to give you responsibility. Huh. And I was, I was like, this. I, said, I said, whatever I need to do, Mr. Potier, I'll do it. And he says, your performance made me grow two inches. Let's make sure that we capture it. And after that, bro, that's when I got my yep. shit together. And then that night is Oprah, like she's always done her whole life, mm -hmm. reaching out and making sure that someone is, is okay. And we did it. And it was, it was amazing. And the stuff that went all along behind the scenes, because there is a little bit of a game to it's it. It's a campaign. It was a little bit of a game to it that we had to overcome. But once we did it, it was great. And then once I won it, then I could celebrate like I wanted to.